Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting update for my Pano's eyeshadows for you. This project was started a good few years ago now by Alexi. Um, and the idea basically is to just roll in five random eyeshadows. Um, having a number generator help you out with that and work on them. At least that is how I'm doing it. So. Let's just jump right in and I'm going to go from the product that has been in here the longest until the product that has been in here the shortest. Starting off with this Urban Decay uh, shadow box and in here, as you guys know, I am working on the shade Sin, which is kind of like a brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight type of shade. I haven't been able to use this a whole lot because I had a shade in my Pen F palette that I was trying to finish off. Still working on that, but I'm so close. So... I have used this five times over the last month just because I could see that I would be fine to have that one finished off by my next update. Little spoiler. <laughs> um, so I did manage to use this five times, which means at least I made a little bit of progress on it. I can see the tiniest bit of a dip starting to pop up in here, but it's only the tiniest bit. Now, I will be able, and I'm pretty excited about that, to use this pretty much every day once I finished up that shade in my Panda palette. So that is pretty exciting because then this will become like my main brow bone highlights, which will mean that by next time I can hopefully have like somewhere around 15 to 20 uses at least on it. Um, now let me swatch it for you. Let's not forget that part. Oh, and when I put my finger in there, I can really feel that there is a dip in there, but this is the shade. Just a nice like light reflective champagne-y type of shade i think sin isn't quite a bit of their uh, palette so i'm sure you guys are familiar with the shade um then urban decay palette number two this is the naked palette of course and in here i'm working on gunmetal which is definitely not the easiest shade to use um it's a it's a dark grayish shade but it's not like a near black type of dark that is what that one looks like and today I have used that, I have that on my uh, crease basically to darken things up a little bit, a little bit, to just darken things up because it's definitely a dark shade. And yeah, that is how I have used this. I've only used it this one time just because I've got other darker shades that I'm really trying to focus on that I just know I'm not going to hit pan on this one before the end of the year, um, which is a shame, but at least I used it once, which would have really not been the case if it would not have been in this project. So that's something. Then the NYX palette. Uh, this is a Secret World palette. And in here I'm working on the green, like apple green type of shade. And you probably cannot see it from here. But in the close up, you can see that I hit pan on it. I was really not expecting, honestly, any more to hit any pans on any of the eyeshadows in here. Until I went home and I brought this palette with me. So home to the Netherlands, I mean. I brought this palette with me and I kind of started incorporating this one as my kind of transition shade to fade out the green a little bit more because I was focusing on the green in my Pena palette. And I realized that that actually worked quite okay. So I've been doing that for like multiple days this month as well. And I hit pen. So very excited about that. I used this 12 times until I hit pen on it. And I forgot to say that for the other one. So the 12 times brought me to a total of 38. 16 and 12. 28, <laughs> yes. 28 uses on this one to hit pan on it. So very excited that I still have one more eyeshadow with pan on it now. Um, just to kind of not forget about these other ones. Sin I've used 32 times in total right now and Gunmetal, that other one used, brought me to a total of 18. This one definitely doesn't look like it's been used 18 times. Also Sin doesn't look like it's been used more than 30 times already, but Okay, <laughs> so I'll just quickly do a swatch of the NYX shade as well, but I'll do that right here. Hopefully I can, yep. This is what that one looks like. So just like a lighter-ish, like it's not definitely a light shade, but it worked for me as a transition shade, kind of just like I said, to fade that green shade on my eye out. Next, <laughs> we have the LA Colors palette, and this one is Enchanted. And this one I haven't used. I have this shade in here, the second shade, 
And this just is so close to my Panda Telish shade. It doesn't make sense for me to use this one. Um, and like, I guess you could also say that, why don't you roll it out and roll something new in? But I know my main focus is gonna be on that Panda palette. So it doesn't really make too much sense for me to like roll in more shades in here and feel even more stressed about not using something. At least this one, I have a good reason not to be using it, I guess. So zero uses on this one. I have used that eyeshadow total of three times in this project so far so yeah <laughs> then lastly we have the sleek uh, palettes right here this one is a circus palette and in here i'm working on the purple shade and the purple shade I'm trying to switch it already that is this shape right here and just putting the switch on here too i forgot the green that is what the purple shade looks like and you will also see that on my lid today I do have my NYX um, yellow gold pigment on it, kind of on the inside of my lid, but I've also tried to make sure that the purple still comes through like quite clearly. So that is what I have on my lid. That was kind of a recommendation from one of you guys. Sorry, I forgot your name. Um, to combine the gunmetal and the purple together, which I have done today. Um, so yeah. That is the only time that I've used the purple uh, this month though. So that was one more use, bringing me to a total of three uses on the sleek shades. And I'm quickly gonna actually swatch the LA Colors shadow as well. This is what that one looks like. So this is a palette that I still have left. And uh, well, it's time to roll in a new shade. So I'm gonna get my laptop and my phone and we're gonna roll something new in. Okay, I'm all set up to roll something new in. So just as a summary, I've got 146 eyeshadows in total at the moment, because uh, I finished off one of the shades in my Panda palette. So that went down by one number. Um, with the NYX in here, uh, kind of added to it again, I have 36 with Pan and I've got 12 that are already in projects. So that means I've got 116 to pick from right now. And with all the changes as well, my pen percentage changed from 21.8% to 22% at the moment. So that's a, a nice amount. Um, now opening up my pretty random app, I've got the numbers 1 to 116. And I'm picking number 103. And I'm okay with anything as long as it isn't a black because I'm already working on a black somewhere else. And we're rolling in shade number two from Catrice The Seasons Must Have, which I think is a dark purple or a gray. I'm gonna have to take a quick look. Okay, I have the palette right here. And as you can see, I'll open it up so it won't be as glary. Um, one, two. Number two is the gray shade in here. Um, it's definitely, like these pens are not like crazy deep, but there definitely is a good bit of work to do still on that one. Um, it's a lighter gray, of course, so it does not interfere with the gunmetal shades. That is the shade right here. It's very much kind of like a transition-y gray type shade, so it, would be easy enough to incorporate with like other things that I'm doing um but I'm gonna have to see how many uses I can get in on that one before we're basically at the end of the year but yeah that is my new palette it's interesting to see how it seems to be getting cooler and cooler um <laughs> by the month and it's very it's very like gray cool tone at the moment but yeah this is the palette that I'm working with let me know if you guys have any ideas on how to incorporate any of these in the projects that I'm already doing, especially my Panda palette, because the few shades that are left in there are definitely my main focus for the next like two months or so still. So yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.